No! Don't you do it! No! Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> Autonomy is an illusion. We're here, and so's the gang, man. They're already strapping up. Holy smokes, we're late. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up? Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> this way is the pond. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty dope, man. Josh, what's going on? All right, guys, so here's the deal. We're linking up with the homies today, guys. Josh and Justin, everyone I've been fishing with starts with Jay lately. You know, Jared down south, Jay gone fishing, Justin down south. And so needless to say, I've been DMing with these boys for about six months, the other almost close to a year, you guys. We've been uh, back and forth, and I just have not made it out to the Fort Worth side of DFW, I guess. You know me, I'm sticking up in my area. So we are here with them today, gonna have some fun. We're fishing an abandoned golf course. We might take the STI out. It could be our uh, cart for the day, possibly. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, just join us along for the ride, y'all. Okay, slow is the least probability. Guys, so um, we're on the Bass Forecast app, and trust me, it has steered us wrong in the past, but it's also been a blessing on other days. So we are uh, scoping this thing out. It's saying today the bite rating is very high. They want lipless cranks is on the top of the food chain, and that the faster you're moving it today, the more apt you are to get a bite. And it, you know, it bases this off of science. I'm just a valet who parks cars on the weekends, so I don't really know, but apparently this is what I need to throw. So I'm gonna toss up my favorite color shotgun shad and see if they don't like it as much as I do. Oh, we got uh, grass. It's the grass bass. Man, I'm about to hit this with the swim jig based on the conditions. Fast color swap this morning. Really thumping, moving a little bit slower. This is the chatter bait. This is pretty shallow here, so I'm not having to uh, really burn it back in. I'm just trying to make a move on the fly here. So what I'm thinking is I haven't really seen much getting spooked or anything. This first pond is pretty small, you guys and uh, the three of us are all circling it. We've already thrown a handful of baits. I started with that lipless, decided the chatterbait would be a little bit better. This place is not very deep. I'm just wondering if there's a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of life in here. I haven't seen any bait fish. Probably won't give it too much more time before we make a switch to the next body of water within this course because I, I hear there's some big catches at a couple of the other ponds in here. Ugh. Okay, so this is Ulanzi. I got all this off Amazon, a little tripod, and look it, you can just kind of bend it like this, push the button. Dude, this holds my iPhone, and I got the, um, what's this, the Rode? Video micro? Video, yeah, video micro, sorry. Same and thing, then, same thing that's on this camera right now. Like $50 then, mic, best budget. Sick, man, just yeah. use your freaking phone for these vlogs, dude. Rode video micro. And had GoPro. at it. Go, yeah, he's, he's paired up with the GoPro. I even saw, you know, Bass and Bill while he was down here, and I think he's double my sub count. He uses almost just the GoPro for the majority of his vlogs, unless it's the intro or the outro. Um, but literally just take the GoPro off your chest mount and hold the GoPro out. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to make the, well, not easy, but how simple it can be to make some of these fishing vlogs so you can get out there and uh, film a little bit and document some of your own catches. So we're making our way to the second pond after not much time here at the first, just thinking it's not not the best use of our time with all the juicy honey holes in this area. So we'll catch y'all at the next one. Guys, so literally this is how abandoned this place is. This was all just like perfect. This was the course right here. Right over there was the green. Justin's saying that was the green right there. Look, it's like all that's left that looks halfway decent. <laughs> anyway, there's some ponds in here that are supposed to have some big ones, man, so we are on our way to them. Okay, guys, this is the first pond that actually shows some logged catches on the Fish Brain app from the uh, spots that we fished. So this could be the first one we get hit at. We've got some higher confidence here. Quick swap to the little juicy. 
I'm gonna see if I can get around. There's just no signs of life on this golf course. It's so weird. Nothing in these little creeks, no little fish. Starting to rain on us over here at pond number three, and at the same time, the sun's kind of peeking out more than it has been, so. <laughs> Interesting change in the weather. Maybe that'll cause the bite to pick up here in just a minute. Uh, we'll probably give this one a little bit longer, and then we're heading to the one that there's a lot of ponds on this golf course, but we're about to make it to the one that has a lot of logged catches and some of the biggest ones, so stick around. I think once we find the bite, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, screw that. Yep, I ain't even wasting my time with the mic on it. That just, you know, everyone, every once in a while, it'll lose connection, and that, no, you're good. And that every once in a while makes it not worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We already deal with the fact that we might not be recording or something else might pop up. I don't have time to also have no sound. I mean, it's great when it works, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it works most of the time. So, it's a, it's a tough argument. But it was enough for me to say, you know what, I'm fine with the crummy audio, and the thing is, all of the biggest vloggers don't use a mic either, you know? Like, it's just expected. You know that, you know that the GoPro audio is not gonna be the best. And that's okay, because it's just what's the hand we're dealt, you know? It's gonna suck, but when you make a catch, just try and like turn like to where you can talk, like with the wind at your back. I mean, there's not a lot, you know? It's just, oh, that felt like a bite right there, but. You know, the reality is all of the GoPros from four up are good for video. Yeah, yeah. Okay guys, we have made it to the spot entirely different looking pond than all the rest we've hit. Way more stained. Might need to break out that Okeechobee crawl color or them black and blues of this one here. Spinner bait, uh, something with a rattle, little noise, thinking lipless crank. This one right here could produce some different results. We're pretty excited to cast a line. And this one, let me show you guys what we're working with here. Oh, black and blue chatterbait, brother. I was, oh. I was already prepared. That is the move. Crystal clear water flowing right into the pond, guys. I figured I'd take advantage of this little spot. See if there's not any action. Okie dokie, y'all. We got the Texas rig, and I'm abandoning the craw for just a second. I'm gonna throw something on a little bit larger profile and uh, see if I can't get in front of the right fish's face. We're gonna go with the trench hog. This is the Bama bug color, which I really don't throw too often. It's almost like a, it's almost like a purplish color with a uh, teal flake and then a green underbelly. Yeah. So you know, pretty much no matter what color they're in the mood for, we we got it with this thing. Well, maybe we just keep pond hopping. So yeah, we gave this one some time too, but now we're thinking we just need to turn this into a massive pond hopping mission. There's more bodies of water out here and we're trying to catch some fish for you guys. So we're gonna make yet another move. Let's get right over to the next spot. All right, y'all, epic fail on the abandoned golf course today. We have uh, fished our little hearts out, man. We've been to like six different bodies of water, maybe seven ponds. There's one more on property, but we've already walked a couple miles and we're deciding to hop in the car since it's right here, or cars rather, and drive over to this next one because it's uh, about equal distance to some of the further ponds we hit on the south side. We're gonna get on some fish here in just a minute, so y'all stick around for the big catches because uh, I'm bound and determined, and I know these guys are too. We're burning up, man, after all that hiking, but some of y'all have mentioned why I don't use the Yakima topwater rack like all the time, but instead I just put the rods in the car. Uh, the thing is absolutely sick and worth the money on those long travels like our trip down to Austin just recently that y'all had saw, but unless it's like Devin and I both in the car, it's so much easier to just toss the rods right there in the passenger seat rather than unlock the box, put the rods in, and you gotta kinda stagger them when the thing is full. And then also you gotta strap it down, then you gotta close it, then you gotta drive to the pond that's only a couple minutes away, then I'd have to undo that whole process. Much easier when you're just pond hopping to toss them inside. And I just figured I'd clear that up because I've gotten a lot of questions on why I don't use it every single move. All right, so I'm following Josh and Justin in the RS. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome walkers, joggers, golf carts, owners with dogs, carts on paths, and fishermen. Okay, but you know what? I actually am gonna open this up and get my drop shot rod. Cause so far, it has been a little slow and this might be what does the deal. Man, this pond looks so good. 
Guys, you haven't seen this on the channel in a while, but look, they are just not hitting the moving stuff like we thought. I think it is time to drop it down. And the grass in here is so mushy and uh, slimy that you really can't even fish a drop shot in this spot without some massive headaches, I assume. So we're just going wacky rig. I think I can work it right above the grass. And I'm thinking this is what's gonna lead to the first fish, you guys. Well, this is cool. Just saw a little disturbance on the top of the water over here, a couple splashes. What could be over here? Just had the first hits of the day. Just had the first hits of the day. Sanko, yeah. I think I'm in position. This might be the cast, you guys. This is one of the last ponds on the golf course before we decide to leave, though. Guys, look at what we're doing. We're kicking it old school. You know what caught the uh, the PB on this channel, actually. Maybe I'll put that down. Maybe I'll put that down in the description. Yeah, six hundred point seven five pounds on this thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, six point six five. My bad. But over six and a half on this little guy, up in Oklahoma. I got that bite over here, you guys. And I'm thinking, I whip old Fluky McFlukester by here. This could be dangerous. Look at this. She looks, oh, 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 she looks good. Whoo, got the moves. Yeah, a few twitches and then just let it sit for a second. Don't let it sit too long because it will fall into the grass, but uh, maybe a second or two pause is good. Obviously, they're slacking on the moving bite. Yeah, yeah, boom. Yeah, like smack it against that slack line. Have slack line on it. So uh, check me out. If there's not much slack, it usually just kind of comes forward. So uh, uh, you kind of whip it against that slack. Okay. Boom. Oh, so kind of. Just does whatever. Like like sometimes he'll go left to right, up, down, blah, blah, blah. You know, you want to keep a good 45 with the rod. That way you can really whip it against that slack. Yeah, see, that looked good right there. As long as he's erratic and then stops, yeah. they, they hit it right on the pause. You see that white disappear and you set it. Look, we got homies joining us now. Hey, good luck, baby. Tell us what you're throwing. That's why I called. Y'all pulled anything out? Yeah, same here, man. We threw everything. They're chilling. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I think we're going to head down the street, see if we can't get a bite, man. Good luck to y'all. Thank you. Oh, God damn, she looks good. Y'all. The abandoned golf course has not panned out how we planned, but that's okay. We've got more spots to hit, and literally, look at this. Look at this out of nowhere. See. This is how frustrated people get at this pond. Look what happens. <laughs> that was just there, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's been going on with this place lately, but look. There's also three other kids that showed up, three other bank fishermen on that side of the pond. This place is stacked right now. I haven't seen anybody pull anything out of the water, which doesn't mean they haven't caught anything, but I, I haven't witnessed it. We have thrown everything in the tackle box. I mean, um... There's not much more to say other than we're going to go fish some new water and find a bite for you guys to end this video on a high note because we want to get some catches for you guys. And I know y'all want to see some catches, so let's get it. Quick pit stop. You know, we had to grab some taquitos. got a couple waters. We got the espresso and cream. We are now fueled up for the second half of today's festivities. Pond hopping with the boys, man. Justin and Josh are so kind. They're taking me to all the best places in Fort Worth. I know today's just not the day because those other guys weren't catching anything either, but I'm feeling good about the next couple spots, y'all. Let's get them. Guys, we just pulled up to some of the homies' favorite ponds right here. Oh, you know how it's been. And anyways, we just ran into a local who's fishing the spot and he said he's caught a couple already. So uh, that's better than any of us have done. <laughs> We're pretty psyched. I honestly might still kick back and enjoy my coffee before I get to fishing because uh, I got to get back in the zone. You know what I mean? I'm out of it right now. One catch will change that, but I think I'll be ready to catch after some coffee. Dude, I think that black and blue chatterbait you had to start off with, that thing right there. All right. Josh has shown me enough. I've got a Texas rig lined up with the hog. I'm just going to take that off and tie on the bandito, finishing up my coffee, and I'm just going to go black and blue. I'm sure this hog would get it done as well, but more fish may go after the bandito bug given its size. So that's what we're going to do. Current situation. 
and his weight is pegged and mine is not which could help him get through a little bit more cover fishing as shallow as he is uh, right along the bank and as shallow as I'm probably gonna be trying to fish but uh, I don't feel like re-rigging at the moment so we're gonna go unpegged on the weight espresso and cream mixed with a little Guggen sauce fresh scent I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the car except for the two rods and we're just gonna go light on this one everything is back in the car one last sip of coffee Mm. Okay. Justin's gonna make me want to grab that spinner bait. I I don't know, but he's throwing something moving. Oh no, no, not the fish! No, no, don't you do it! No! Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that was on me. That would have been the first one of the day, baby. <laughs> Y'all cake. Oh, that was epic. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're feeling good. Black and blue bandito. That was funny. <laughs> if I had a, if I had a seven six heavy. <laughs> Oh shit, how funny was that? All right, technically we landed that fish, like he was on the bank for a split second. Um, can't say I left y'all with nothing today. Josh was the witness. <laughs> Even though I'm in these boots, I'm pretty sure we, we might have got our feet wet on that one. <laughs> right, okay, I gotta go, I just got snagged. Love you, bye. What the f You saw that, right? He nibbled three times. I pulled it. He came right off. Yeah, I was letting him I was letting him eat it. We're cursed. That that abandoned golf course is cursed and it has brought the bad luck to this spot. You got him. No. What the heck, dude? Guys, look at this. This is the stuff you only see in movies. Look at that. Get it right up on that GoPro. Ooh. No All way. To make it look like a five pounder. That is that's insane. Official. He's on. He got him. Underspin. Black and blue. Little tip tail. The Jays are showing me up, bros. <laughs> They've already got their fish. Y'all, on to what is probably the final spot of the day. We're gonna piece this thing apart until I get a catch, baby, let's go. All right, here we are, y'all, at the last spot of the day. Uh, it's looking pretty good, man. Yeah, it looks like it's about sunset, but really it's like three in the afternoon or something. <laughs> you can't really tell that there's any obvious structure. I don't see a whole lot of rock. I don't see a whole lot of this, that, and the other. It's just a, a wide open playing field. So we're gonna see what they're in the mood for. I don't know what I'm even gonna start with, man, but you're gonna find out here in a second. Let's hope we get bit. I'm gonna throw this puppy. You want one or you got you got one? Oh yeah. Night and day. Oh. There he is. Come on, baby. I think that was first cast on this thing. Justin, will you grab my camera? Black and blue jig, baby. Guggen squad pulling through, and we were just talking about the quality. First one in the day for your boy. He's a stud too. What do you give him? Three pounds? All right, y'all, pulling through, last pond of the day, and I'm telling you what, there's some bigger ones in here, so we hear. The black and blue jig got it first cast right along the bank. He hit maybe 10 feet away from my feet, and uh, and he really bit it good. He choked that thing. All right, black and blue bandito bug as the trailer head just barely chopped off, and uh, I'm going to get that rigged right back up on the juicy. Cast it back out, man. Let's let little homie go. First fish of the day. That's a big reward after coming out here trying to fish with the gang and have some fun and not catching anything at the first like 10 ponds we hit, you know what I'm saying?
Got a little dink. There we go. Last minute dink for you guys. Oh, go on, little buddy. There he goes. All right, guys, we're calling it quits. I just circled this whole thing with the dang drag and drop and got that little dink. But hey, you know what? There's bigger fish to be caught in future vlogs, so don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications, and catch up with these two. I'm going to put them down in the description. Until the next one, you guys, we're going to have a bunch of fun on these next few videos. Be looking out. Bye. <gasps>